Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how we can save values from a PDF that we receive in an email as an attachment into Excel. I'm going to do this using Make, formerly Integromat, and I'm going to use a third party web application called PDF.co um, to pass the PDFs. Now, I'll just give an overview of what this workflow will do. When you receive an email that is from a certain email address, it will be put into a folder using a rule in your Outlook email client. When an email is in that folder, it will be checked by this workflow here. And this will be run on a daily basis and it will get the attachment from the email and it will pass it using this PDF.co and put the values into an Excel spreadsheet. So this is the PDF that we're going to pass. This gets sent as an attachment to my email on a daily basis. This is all manipulated data, by the way, in a PDF that I created based on one that Roku sends out every day. Once we've run that workflow, the values from here, whether new installs, uninstalls, etc., will be placed into a row in this Excel spreadsheet that I've created. Now you can see the column titles, well, the majority of them here, apart from date, because we do that dynamically, um, they reflect the values that are in these here. Okay, I'm gonna go through and show you this workflow in action, or should we say scenario, because it uses make and they call them scenarios. So what I'm gonna do first, step one, is replicate the email that I get every day. So I'm just sending this. As you can see, it's got a PDF attachment similar to the one that I showed you previously. So we send that. Now that should go to my Outlook email client where I've got a rule set up that will put it into this automation folder. Let me just sync that. It's just taking a little while. There we go. In it comes. So we've got that into this email folder here. Now in my make scenario, we've got a Microsoft 365 email search messages node here. So if I open that up, you can see that we've got the mail folder pointing to that automation folder that just received that email. So let's just have a quick look at that again. There we go. So that email there, that's searching within that folder for emails that we received today. So once that's run and we've got that email that we received today because we're only getting that email once daily, I list the attachments here and you can map values that come through each node from the previous node. So we map the message ID from the previous node. So that gets the attachments from that message ID. And then we download the attachments. It seems kind of long winded, but this is how I figured out to do it. We use the message ID and the attachment ID. The message ID comes from the first node that we got and the attachment ID comes from the list attachments, the second node that we ran. After that, we pass the attachment, which will always be, I know I'm, I know the format of these emails and I know that it's gonna be a single attachment and it's gonna come daily. So I don't need to worry about too much about checking there's only one email or checking there's only one attachment or checking the types of attachment. So what I do then is I run it through this pdf.co node now I'll show you how to do that after I've just run you through the Excel one. So that node there, that just passes and passes the values from the PDF. It's pretty nifty actually the way it works and I will run you through that after. Here's my Microsoft Excel connections. That's connected to my Microsoft 365 account. And then I can find the workbook, which is the Excel file that I'm working in and the worksheet, sheet one, obviously you should be naming that better, but for the time being for this demo that's enough and when you click on these these are already i've already updated these but if i click on this you can see the values that come through from 
the pdf.co so as you can see here it's new installs uninstalls cumulative installs now set them up on pdf.co so they're outputted like this and i will show you that in the next step but as you can see i've got a dynamic now value that populates that with the timestamp you can do that via this little calendar icon here and you've got the, the variables of now and timestamp let's just run this and what it will do it will go through all the steps that i mentioned that's passing it off to the third party pdf.co web app now and what we want to do we want to see it once it's done populate here so just waiting for that there we go now it's just writing it to the excel spreadsheet let's just refresh this there we go you can see the values that we had in that pdf that was sent as an attachment okay in the pdf.co node you can see here there is a document parser template id now within pdf.co what we can do is go to the document parser section and here I, I've already created a template, but you can create a new template. Now you can get a free account. I've paid for a pay as you go account, but the free account could be enough for you. So it's worth checking out, take a look. So, and then I'll, we'll edit this now just to see what I did here. What I'll do is I'll load in that PDF that I got through and you can see what I've done is I've highlighted where on the PDF the numeric values that I want to save are and then what I've done is I've just put them as different variable names so these are the variable names that you saw earlier in it takes a little while to load in here so this you see new installs uninstalls they all relate to these var variables here so once you've done that and you've highlighted the data that you want to save as long as your PDF comes in the same format you'll be good so we just save that to template and you can see here you've got your template ID so that 3788 was what I used in the node here there we go and that's it you obviously need to put your scheduling on when you want it run so I'd run this daily or weekly if you only get a weekly email or whatever yeah but super useful especially if you want to do something with the PDFs that you get sent so let me know if you enjoyed it if you want more videos like this and you're interested in automation please sign up hit subscribe give us a like or whatever and hit me up at, at tiny automations on twitter if you want me to automate anything let me know nice one cheers